Hello everybody, I want to make a quick video regarding my views of the market for the next month or two. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All views expressed over here are for educational purposes only. So please do not buy or sell based on the views expressed over here. Please consult your financial advisor before you make any financial decisions. With that said, let us proceed. The chart you see on my screen is a Dow Jones screen and there are two red lines that I've made over here. The first on top is the red line which shows Dow Jones pre-pandemic level top. So that is over here. That was about 29,450. And then there's a pandemic dip which takes it all the way down to 18,166 odd levels. And the second red line that I've drawn over here is my view of how low the Dow Jones can go in the current series or in the next month or two. I don't think it will go there, which is 26,000. I don't think Dow Jones will go there. But if at all Dow Jones falls further, it will probably halt at 26,000. All right. Currently, the Dow Jones is at 31,000. 900. Do I see it going to 26,000? I don't. And I'll explain why in a moment. So this is Dow Jones. Summary of Dow Jones. All right. Now let me express why I think a global rally is about to come. We will zoom into the chart. And I have mentioned this quite a few times in the last week or two. Dow Jones has been falling as you can see I have over here I have made a channel about Dow Jones falling. So but why do I say that a rally is about to start all right let let us take a brush and try and explain that all right. So the fall in the Dow Jones if you are to take note. Dow Jones has been following, making multiple W's. All right. And that has been happening from the beginning of this year. That is from Jan of 22. We have been seeing multiple W's and it started making this W's from the end of last year. All right. Let, let me explain how. So there is a W we see over here. I need to thicken this a little more so that it's a little more visible to all of us. So this is the first W, all right. We'll make another W. This is another W visible over here. Then there's another W visible over here. There is another W visible over here. And we are currently coming out of this W. All right. Now, every time it makes a W, I'll just make boxes around this W so that all these W so that it's a little more easier for us to visualize. I hope it's visible to all. Even if it's not, you will get the gist of the matter that I'm trying to explain. All right. Or I hope you get it. If not, you can always ask questions in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please, please press the bell icon so that every time a video is uploaded, you are notified. All right. Okay. Now, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five W's that we have seen in this period since the beginning of this year. So it makes a W and then falls. How does it fall? Every time it makes a W, generally it, it tends to make a shoulder after the W, which is this, it tends to go up a little bit and then fall. After this W, it tends to go up a little bit and then fall. After this W, it goes up a little bit and then falls. After the after this W, it goes up significantly and then falls. Currently, we are out of this W and we are going up. Now, it may go up till 33,300, 200, 100, whatever. 
and then may see a fall. I'm also telling you it may see a fall. The reason I'm telling you that is because I think we are currently in the last or semi last fall. We are either in the last fall or the second last fall, not semi last, second last fall. And the reason I tell you that is let's zoom out. The reason I tell you that is Dow Jones does not have much room to go further. I mean, what are these companies going to go to? Zero. That's not possible. All right. So Dow Jones has already come to pre pandemic levels. So Dow Jones does not have much room to go any further. The maximum it will come down is to this red line over here. All right. So either we are already at the last W or it will go up and form another W. Probably it will just go up till here and then drop down and form this last W. And once this last W is formed, then it will take off. That will be probably the last W of the series before the new rally begins. So either this W is the last one that we are currently in. We are already in the last W. If we are not, then we have to wait for this W. And once this W comes, post that a global rally will begin. All right. I, for one, I already think that we are 50, 60, 70% in already the last W. If not, there are 30% chances that one more dip will come. After that, Dow Jones will form another W and post that a new global rally will begin. The global rally will primarily begin because the moment Dow Jones starts rallying, all of the indices follow. So this is the reason. The other reason is if you look at this chart, this is the US dollar index. All right. Now the US dollar index has been going up since June of last year. As you can see the parallel channel that I've drawn on my screen, this is a channel in which the US dollar has been strengthening since June of last year. That's more than a year now. My personal view is just like things cannot keep falling forever, things cannot keep rising also forever. I have mentioned this in two, three videos of mine in the last one month. Just like we can't keep falling, the Dow Jones can't keep falling, the, the US dollar can't keep rising forever. All right. So this will also turn. So the moment Dow Jones stops falling and it goes into a rally and finally breaks that uh, box that it is currently in, breaks this, breaks this parallel channel that it's currently in and breaks out. Even right now, if, if Dow Jones goes to 30,500, which is just 1500 points away from where it is currently, it will already break out of this channel. All right. So 1500 points more and Dow Jones will break this channel and go out. If not, it will go down once again, form a W and then it will rise to break this channel. If that happens, then this channel also will break. The dollar index channel will break. And from its current level, dollar index is at 110. It just needs to come to 105 to make a decisive, you know, channel breaking pattern. All right. That's just five points away. I mean, for dollar, that's quite a move, but that's just five points away. Five more points of the US dollar index falls, it will come out of this channel. And 1500 points more, if the Dow Jones goes, it will come out of its parallel channel. Considering these two things, I think either we are very close to a bottom being formed, we are already at the bottom form, or we are very close to a bottom being formed. And once this is over with, a global rally is about to start, which will take all indices around the world to new highs. If not new highs, at least for a month or two, we will see a nice rally up. All right. So on that positive note, I'll end this video. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. See you in another video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.